Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for May. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Leo out there. So guys, take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. You could also check your other signs and placements and see if your messages are there. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Leo, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Leo? Leo. Okay, well, that was fast. All right, Leo, you are starting out with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You have the Five of Pentacles, and coming out together, we have the Nine of Wands reversed, along with the King of Swords in the reverse. All right, so Leo, I feel like you may be dealing with a situation that um, somebody who might be a bit honest or dishonest or a bit of, um, they could be um, just a very angry person, but regardless, I feel like you've gone through this with this person for quite some time. It does look like there has been a breakup, and I do feel that in this breakup, you felt very rejected. You feel as if, you know, you've kind of been abandoned. There's a, almost a desolation is what I'm hearing. There's, there's a feeling of desolation. Um, for some of you, this could be somebody you have a child with, but it doesn't have to be. And it's this sense that somebody turned their back on you. Um, I am seeing that with the three of pentacles here, you're very unhappy about the situation. Um, there may have even been talk of coming back together, getting back together, but you're just sick and tired of being treated um, dishonestly or being treated um, by, you know, in a way that somebody's just very angry, angry. And I feel like they're unwilling to change as well. There's a sense of, of injustice in this situation. So let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Leo's energy. Yeah, there's somebody that is either dishonest or has anger issues or both. And they're unwilling to change. And I feel like you've really gone through it with this person. Five of Cups. Page of Swords, Ten of Cups. All right, so this person is up and down. You could be dealing with somebody that has um, like a bipolar disorder or behaves in that manner. Um, I do feel like this person is playing the victim with the, regard to this situation. They're looking at this connection here and they're going back over it. There's a lot of sadness. There could be even some depression. It's like this person moves from the Five of Cups to the Ten of Cups. You know, I'm a, unhappy, I'm sad. Oh, look at me. It, it really is almost like a, a bipolar energy. And I am seeing with this Page of Swords that this is somebody who is very immature in the way that they communicate in particular. They're doing some spying. They're doing some spying for sure. So um, let's see the energy between the two of you. They may be pretending to be really happy, but they're very sad. Um, show me the energy between the two of you. The strength card. Yeah, so you're you're working on yourself. I feel like the, this is a strong connection. This could be a trauma bond connection. I don't know yet, but there's it's definitely a strong connection here. So... Let's see what's affecting this connection. You could be dealing with a, another Leo. I will tell you that this person feels like you are the one who is causing the sadness in their world. They're not um, appreciating the connection. I can tell you that. And they're very focused on you. They're extremely focused on you, actually. But you're realizing you're not happy with this person. Or the way this connection is going. Two of Swords. They can't make a decision. 
and the Eight of Cups in the reverse, but you're not past this either. You're still emotionally bound to this, and it, it looks like it's because of that feeling of rejection. So you, you may have even walked away from this connection, um, but there's still an emotional, a strong emotional bond to this person. Um, the, and this is affecting this connection. I am seeing that in this connection that um, this person can't decide if they're, if they're fully going to walk away from the connection or not. They're, they're wishy-washy. It's like they don't know what they want. So let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay, yeah. So, in at the end of the week, there could be some gossip that's going on as well. Gossip or slander. Um, other people may be watching this and talking about it. Um, with the Three of Cups in the reverse, I do feel like you're both unhappy with the situation. But this person is acting like they're completely happy. I do see that it was somehow a... Um, it was a foundation that was here. It was a strong foundation that was here that was kind of destroyed. I don't feel like you're being cooperative with this person's behavior. You may have put up some boundaries and that's caused them to be very angry as well. I don't see you wanting to reconcile with this person at the current time. And there may have been some third party energy for some of you, we'll clarify to see. Bottom of the deck is the chariot. That's underlying energy, Leo, and that tells me that you're moving forward. You're you're very much so moving forward, looking at things from a different perspective. And I feel like you're moving towards what you you know want or hope to be better days, better better you know for you. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the three of pentacles in the reverse? Queen of Cups, you have feelings for this person. Queen of Wands reversed. And the King of Swords, interesting. There's a lot of players in this. There's definitely a lot of players. So, I do feel like you have feelings for this person, but you're kind of, um, you're kind of keeping a lid on that right now. Um, you see the best in this person, but you also see the worst in this person. So I feel like you are putting up some boundaries. You're honest with them. I don't feel like you're taking any sort of action towards them. You could very well be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be. They may also have water or fire in their chart. But I am seeing that while you do love this person, you're not putting up with nonsense. And you're being very strong about this. You've, you've let them know this and they're not happy. They're not happy about it. And I have to say, they're all over the place. Um, I, I feel like, because uh, the Queen of Wands sometimes can be a third party. I feel like if there's a, a third party involved, you're you're like telling this person, I, I'm not going to be part of this. Even though I love you, I, I, I'm done with this. Because I feel like it's not the first time that this has been the case. And this person has a lack of change in their in their behavior. Three of Cups reversed again. And the King of Cups. Yeah, you definitely love this person. And that's why you're finding it difficult to walk away. There's still an emotional bond that's here. So, but I don't feel like you're... It's like you've put up these boundaries, Leo. And you're not putting up with third-party energy. It's very clear that you won't be putting up with third party energy. You're not you're not feeling if you walked away from this person, you knew it would make them feel rejected. But at the same time, if there was third party energy, you felt rejected. You felt abandoned like this person turned their back on the connection. Now take it as it resonates. These readings go out to a lot of people, so just take what resonates for you. Regardless of your feelings, you're not reconciling with this person at this time, but you do feel there's unfinished business between the two of you. And it's because there's a very strong bond here. Let's see the bottom energy. That'll tell me what this King of Swords is in the reverse. Show 
Show me the bottom energy. Thank you. All right, we have the Ten of Coins. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So this could be a long-term connection or even a marriage that is breaking up. Um, you're moving forward. This person could have been dishonest about finances or money. Or this person could have just been dishonest with regard to third parties or both. You're moving forward from it, though. And I do feel like it's a little tricky financially for you in some respects. You're, you're kind of having to balance all this out. I don't feel this was an easy decision for you. I feel like this was a very chaotic connection and this was a very hard decision. There's a strong bond between the two of you and it's been a bond that's been here for a long time. So I feel like you you had to really weigh up the pros and cons, but you're just, it, this person has exhausted you, you know? Like you've tried to resolve problems, but they're unwilling to change. It's like a status quo for them. They might get better and then they go right back into the same behavior. So there's a lack of change. Let's look at their energy. I feel like it just finally made you make this decision that you had to move forward and you're not taking this person back. All right, Nine of Cups reversed and the Emperor in reverse. Oh, so they're blaming you. Um, this is not, they don't want this ending. They also feel a strong connection with you and with the Emperor in reverse, they may be blaming you. This is somebody though that is a bit out of control. They may, they may come across as being very controlling. This is somebody who may own their own business or, and if they do, it might not be doing well financially. This is somebody who, you know, the emperor in the upright is very loving, very a little distant, but loving and really fair, really does what they're supposed to do. This person is the opposite of that. This person is unfair. They could be unfaithful in the connection. Um, they did not want this connection. They didn't want you to walk away. And they know that they have like a hold over you. So why is the Page of Swords here? Not really liking this person's energy, to be honest with you. Look at that, Two of Swords again. All right, so they're not making a decision and it has to do with communication for some of you. They do communicate rather immaturely, it looks like, but it there's something about money or about finances and they keep looking at the details, looking at the details. They're so hyper-focused on the details that they're missing the big picture as well. So it's, a, it's like this person overthinks everything. So they're overthinking what they, they've seen. They're overthinking what's been said. They, they're they overthinking things with regard to finances and money. They, they just can't seem to come to a decision because they sit back and they think and they think and they think. <laughs> Could be dealing with an Aries. Why well, is the Ten of Cups here? Or another Leo possibly. Has the Ten of Cups here. Okay, Nine of Wands reverse, or um, in the upright, and the Nine of Coins. So this person is is acting like they're really happy, but they're actually very burdened. They're pretending. This is somebody who's pretending that everything is fine. They don't mind being single. You know, this is someone who may even, you know, they do work. A lot. I can see that. This person likely works a lot. Um, they may also, there's something to do with money or finances here too. So they may have money and finances, but then they lose it just as quickly as it comes in. And they don't want you to know about, you know, that there's something to do with that for somebody. Um, I do feel that this person um, wants to try to work things out with you. They're going to tell you that you know, they're happy either way. You know, they're a, they're a happy person. They're happy either way. It's not true. Um, 
but I do feel that they're going to tell you they want to work things out, that, you know, there's something to do with them, you know, being single here and acting happy, but the truth of it is, is they're, they're pretty burdened. They're defensive as well. Let me see the, um, let me see the energy between the two of you. But they know that, that you haven't emotionally fully walked away from this connection. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles reversed, Page of Cups. Oh, you may you may have found somebody new. They and if not, they think that. That's why they're spying on you. So this person may feel that that the reason all of this is happening is because you ended things with them to be with somebody new. But I don't see that in your energy. It's possible, but I don't see that in your energy. Um, I do see that you have emotions for this person. You may feel that this person owes you an apology. Um, you do have feelings for this person. And you're. I'm seeing that while you're being firm and you're rather guarded as well, you you are kind. I feel that you extend you've extended yourself to this person, but you're not willing to have any kind of third party energy involved in in a connection with the two of you. Now, for some of you, you may have found somebody new. Somebody else is interested. If so, it would be um, something. It would be a, a situation that's fairly new. Show me what's affecting this connection. Okay, we have Judgment. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. More of that overthinking energy. So what's affecting the connection is that things are moving but they're moving very slowly in this connection. You may want a reconciliation, but because you love this person and you're still emotionally tied, however, you're not willing to tolerate third-party energy. Um, and I don't feel like you're particularly happy with the way things have, have filed out either. You just have such a strong bond with this person. So you're hoping that this person will change, that they'll make the changes necessary for this to come back together. Um, at the same time, I feel like you're not holding your breath. It's almost like this person's put you in a situation where they're not making the changes because they're in this over-analysis paralysis. They're thinking constantly about it. They hide in work as well. And, you know, they they just are not getting the big picture. They're just overthinking everything. They can't seem to make a decision. And it's like a lot of you are making this judgment call that even though you do have a strong attachment to this person, you have strong feelings um, for this person, and I do see that, that you, you don't have any other choice but to move forward. So, but you're moving forward very slowly. Like you're waiting for that that hope that this person will kind of, you know, come out of this, that they will make that change, even though you realize in the past they haven't. Um, let's see, let's see the outcome. It's like um, you're closing the door, but you're leaving a window open. If this person actually does make the changes that are necessary. Okay, so we have the Six of Coins, King of Wands, you're taking your power back, and the Four of Cups reversed. So I do feel like, again, I'm seeing this energy of third party. I'm seeing, you know, somebody giving their energy to more than one person or possibly just breadcrumbing. Um, you, you're taking your power back. You've made the decision to take your power back, and the only way for you to do that is to move forward from a long-term connection. Somebody who refuses to change in their energy, and, and in doing so, you are finding your balance here. 
It's like you have just finally put your foot down with this person. Um, now, this person's energy, I feel like they're very troubled. They think about everything that's taken place. They're always looking at the details. But there's this lack of ability to make a decision. Um, so, they're choosing to be single and look at this as a missed opportunity. But they're still very focused on, on you. They would like to balance things out. Um, they're, they're beginning to have some realizations that, you know, <laughs> they're beginning to have some realizations that they're unhappy without you, even though they're pretending to be happy. They're, they may even come across as acting like they're totally unbothered, that they're happy, that they couldn't be happier being single. But the truth of it is, is that they're still looking at you. They're still thinking, overanalyzing, but because they're not taking steps forward and you've had enough and you it, it appears you're moving forward even though they want to balance this out it looks like it's going to wind up being a missed opportunity yeah bottom of the deck is the three of swords in the reverse so this this person broke your heart and you're moving forward now i, I definitely still see, see heartbreak i do see that there's still a need for healing to take place. For some of you, this person may even live at a distance. Um, but And some of you might be traveling as well. There's something to do with travel. Um, so you might be taking a trip or traveling in order to help heal yourself and to gain a little perspective to move forward. But I can see that there's still healing that does need to take place here. It's really obvious. So let me see, Leo, if there's any hidden messages for you. I'm using the Hidden Truth Oracle. Any messages for Leo? Messages for Leo. Let's see what came out. I wonder if you are happy without me. I feel like that's this person, but it could also be your energy or even both of you. Because like I said, it's such a strong connection here. And I know that you do have feelings for this person. You both may be wondering, you know, is the other person happy without, you know, you or vice versa? So, all right. Well, it looks like you're putting some boundaries in. But I hope that this was helpful and gave you some insight into this connection. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell as well so you'll be notified when I upload your readings. Until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.